A bizarre whale sculpture in the middle of a Salt Lake City roundabout? What's that about? Let's find out today on Jason's Life in Five. Welcome back to another episode of Jason's Life in Five. Today we are in Salt Lake City near the University of Utah uh, in an area called Ninth and Ninth. That's 900 South, 900 East. Uh, kind of an eclectic area known for a kind of an artsy scene. And we are checking out this new sculpture they have installed a day or two ago in the middle of the roundabout. It is a whale that is life size coming out of the ground. It's sculpted by a local artist by the name of Stephen Kessler. And uh, he said that when he was young and he came to this area, uh, that he experienced a lot of things that he didn't see in the suburb where he grew up. And he felt like he had come here and it was a place out of the blue. And that's where the name of the sculpture came from. Stephen Kessler's original sculpture was just white. They brought in another artist who painted the mural. That was actually one of the uh, things that they had an idea for when they proposed the sculpture was that the entire whale be the canvas for different murals to be painted. And so the entire whale was painted by this other artist. And um, I guess every couple of years it'll be repainted into something new. Now you might notice something along the base of the sculpture. They're actually garden gnomes. This um, roundabout used to have garden gnomes, I guess, that locals had put here. And so a lot of people were upset about the whale. And so now people have brought their gnomes to enjoy the space with the whale. So kind of a neat compromise and uh, certainly an interesting thing to see in the middle of a neighborhood in Salt Lake City because when you think of Salt Lake, you certainly do not think of whales, I would think. Oh, this gnome brought his little dog with him. Well, it looks like the sun is starting to set on this adventure. And so we're gonna call it a day, but thanks for joining us for this short one. And uh, we'll see you next time on Jason's Life in Five.